Hi, this is Don. I'm making this screencast tutorial to demonstrate how to create your digital portfolio. I'm using my Mac so the desktop may look slightly different than on a Windows PC, but the process is identical. Now before you actually create your portfolio, you will need to digitize your artifacts. It may be that you've already done that, but if not, um, please do so. Um, they could be Word documents, um, PowerPoints. In most cases, they'll be scanned PDF files. Now, it's a good idea to organize them in separate folders on your hard drive, as I've done here. So I've created a portfolio folder, and then inside I've created separate folders for each of the um, 10 standards. So, for example, if you look in a folder here, you'll find, in this case, there are three artifacts and three reflections, one reflection for each of the artifacts. Now you may note these are PDF files and so you click on them and they come up and reflections are also PDF files. In this case a PDF file was made of a, a scanned uh, Word document. Okay, so once you've done that, and that will take you a little time, you should also have a folder, I'm just calling this Professional Portfolio, but what would be here would be the pages on your internship portfolio that wouldn't necessarily be on your original student portfolio. So for example, um, you would include your philosophy of education. Again here, this is a PDF file. And either if you're in the MAT program, it would be your proposal, or in this case, um, this is the student's action research project. And then you might have a folder for images, any graphics or pictures that you would want to include in your portfolio that wasn't necessarily an artifact. So once you've done all that, you're now ready to create your web-based digital portfolio. Now there are a lot of different applications you could use for example, if you're really comfortable with WordPress because of your blogging, you could make a digital portfolio using WordPress. But I'm going to demonstrate creating a website using Google Site. Uh, Google Site is free, it's really user-friendly, and the best thing is it has a lot of templates, some of which are portfolio templates that you can start with and then you can customize it any way you want. But because it's already been created as a template, it'll save you quite a bit of trouble. Okay, um, you'll first of all have to have a, a Gmail account in order to use Google Site. And um, by the way, I'd recommend getting a Google um, Gmail account even if you aren't going to use um, Google Site just because it's a great uh, email program for your own personal email. So the first thing that you want to do then is just do a Google search for Gmail and you can see here that it brings this up and you can go to the sign up page and just go through this process and you can create your own account. Now because I already have one I'm not going to do that but um, once you've done that then you can go to Google site and begin to create your own um, website. So again, I'm just going to Google Google Sites and then you get the um, link to Google Sites free websites and wikis. Now I already have um, some um, websites created just kind of to show examples of some of the different templates but um, I'm going to create a brand new one. Now I'm going to um, stop the screencast now because I don't want it to get too uh, large and I'm going to turn these into YouTube videos. Um, but then I'll make a second um, tutorial that will actually go through the process of creating your, your website. 